Hello everyone, my name is Võ Thị Như Mai. Welcome to my first English version of author introduction here. In dấu chấm thang quay ngang, the sideways exclamation mark. The author of today is Hương Mùa Thu, Scent of Autumn. March, Let Go of Sorrow by Hương Mùa Thu. People are writing about March, about the flowers blooming at the gate, beginning of the month, about the wanderings of old memories. I feel melancholy too. I would like to write something to say hello to March, but pick up my pen, open my phone. I don't know what to write about because March is empty in me. I have some sadness in March hidden deep down. In March, it is still cold outside. Where I am on a high mountain, the cold of the last days of winter covering mountains and forests, the white snowflakes suddenly bloom on the roads. Large and small flowers are crowded together. Sometimes large and heavy flowers falling down add on to the creation of existing white snow dunes on the ground. Snowflakes just look but life is fantasy is very fragile. Just need a rain or sunny day to disappear, transform into the ground. Again, a cycle of rebirth, reincarnation according to the laws of heaven and earth. March has a little more time, cleaning up some leftovers from lazy days because of the cold. Surfing a few favorite websites, finding energy from the outside, is also a way to help me relax more. A warm shirt in the days when it's still a bit cold out of season. By chance, I came across the image of two leaves floating on the water from Daddy's Sands Facebook. I stopped for a long time because of the emotions that are difficult to name, difficult to express. It lingers from the past to present. Last night, she called to share with me about her feelings. Her stories in a foreign lane. She seemed to be cold, no longer excited, and looked at everything as pure as before, like what she should always be. I laughed and reassured her. At this age, not much emotion or getting a bit less is very normal, dear. Not like me, always get in the high mood and emotional with nearly everything. Sounds very much like someone from another world. She laughed cheerfully. Oh yes, you must be right. I remember once talking to someone about Sarah Emer's book, Extremely Cruel, Extremely Loving, about the Jewish method of raising children. I told him that if one day I applied to himself, that's my way of loving to the end. So please understand that for me. If one day I fly to the sky, well dear, I have lived a leisurely life. If one day I pass away, well dear, I've lived a wonderful life. I learned how to love others and forgive those who hate me. I learned to dispel pain with a smile and by faith in people. Much, remember and forget. Please let go of all the troubles. Hương Mù Thu, Scent of Autumn. Hương Mù Thu, or Scent of Autumn, writes process with positive messages and gentleness that lead readers into a beautiful world of love and belief. My name is Phó Thị Như Mai. I hope you enjoyed the very first English version of author introduction. Hope to see you on the next episode.